Good morning, everybody. Oh, nay. Nine. It's too early, Mom. It's too early. Ah. What are you guys doing now? Now we're going to take a look at this. The out hall, which keeps the mainsail tight. Yeah. Which we found a big chafe spot up front. Okay. I did a tip. So, what we want to have a look at, I'll show you. This was chafed clean through this end. Oh, wow. Okay. Or almost through. I cut it okay. to use. So, what I did was this runs all the way into the mast and it yeah. was cut, it was almost chafed through right here because this is always riding in these jaws here yeah and so what we want to do is see if it's possible to run a new one out of rope yeah or at a minimum see what kind of shape this one is is in but okay the problem is it's wire it's wire to rope splice inside the boom uh-huh and people will always warn about changing to a rope where there's been a wire yeah because the wire might have made the pulley okay all rough and then it might just cut through the rope so what we're trying to do is how does it look the, the, the wheel the flywheel or whatever looks fine it does I mean, you can see it way. yeah and before we pull so it through we ought to tie the new line on we there tie a new line on there yeah. or tape it it's kind of tricky we got to basically be, do a really awesome job of butting them like this We don't want to splice it because if we do start to see chafe here, yeah. we can just undo it here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave quite a bit of extra length up there. Mm -hmm. and then you can just cut it, pull some more through, cut it, and retie it. Mm -hmm. That's what I've done with the mainsail halyard over the years too. 